Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have here a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I've already put my base coat down of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and just a blob of Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic Yellow. And I'm going to be doing just a swipe with schmears here today in Cell Activator. That first paint I put down was Modern Masters Black Cherry. The second color is Liquitex Basics Silver, Blob of Artist Loft Phalo Blue, Black, and um, Dark Green. The third color I put down there was Artist Loft Phalo Blue, Liquitex Basics Silver, Amsterdam Oxide Black, and Modern Masters Pharaoh's Gold. Fourth color was Liquitex Basic Silver and DecoArt Extreme Sheen Ruby. And the last color that I put down was DecoArt Metallic Pearl. So I just did some tilting and I'm just showing you consistency here. And that was that really pretty DecoArt Extreme Sheen Ruby. Now what I'm doing is just putting my uh, cell activator on the back of my palette knife and smearing it around and this one happens to be a combination of the Amsterdam Prussian blue and Payne's gray and I mixed it three parts Australian Floetrol to one part of that combined paint and later on I do use a second cell activator which is the Amsterdam deep gold and Australian Floetrol with the same three part flow trial to one part paint um, mixture. For some reason, the gold though did not show up very well on this painting. But if you know me, sometimes I just don't like to use a white um, base coat and thus I use that light yellow. I think it's just a real pretty light yellow. Here is that gold cell activator and it pretty much sinks whether it will show up when this painting is dry or not is uh, yet to be seen but in a future video I am going to show several of my more recent paintings the dried results so look for that video to come out and I will be curious to see how this painting does turn out when it's all dry. And here I am just still using my cell activator here and there. Just to give this painting um, more to look at, more for the eye to look at. Here I am using that gold again. And now I'm going to do some tipping on this painting. And I think that is what really brought out a lot of good points. What I did is I tipped and I stretched out the cells that I got from those cell activators. And it brought out a lot, a lot of really pretty lacing. There's not a whole lot of paint on this canvas to stretch off, but... I just kept tipping until I felt I really liked the outcome. And you can see there on part of the painting how the stretching really did leave some pretty nice effects. And here I just decide I need to do a little bit more stretching there down into that far corner. Here I decided that I really did like that uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Ruby. And I, I thought this painting needed more. It just didn't have enough of that ruby color in it. Just more for the eye, eye to see. 
So I am trying to follow the, the lines that were already made by the paint. Just enhancing it a little bit here. And now I am using the, the blue color, the phalo blue and silver combination. Again, just running it down some of the lines that were already stretched out there. Again, back with the palette knife in that combination of the Amsterdam Prussian Blue and the Payne's Gray. And I have fast forwarded this little video so it won't take so long to finish. Here I'm just adding some lines here and there. Back with the gold. and more stretching. And when I do bring it down for a close-up, you will see all the beautiful lacing I did get. Just a few uh, finishing touches here. Just, just to make it more attractive for the eye to look at there. And a quick torch. And we will be bringing you down for a close-up. And here we are. I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. And this is the upper left-hand corner. Just going down the left hand side, I did want to leave some negative space, which I did get there. You can just see how that ruby is really, really offsetting those other colors so pretty. And just going up the middle here, here's some of the pretty lacing I got. This is one of the most, this is my favorite part of the whole painting is right here. And now I'm going to take you over to the uh, upper right hand corner here. I'm just showing you a little bit more of that lacing. And just going down the right hand side. Very colorful painting. A lot going on. So let me know what you think of this painting and give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. That would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.